the four Yorkshire men. <laughs> oh, da. Who'd have thought, who'd have thought we'd be sitting back here drinking shuttle to shuttle in. Uh, yeah, I remember when I had nothing. I was happier then. I remember when it was 15 of us living in the, living, living, huddled up in the corner of a room for fear of falling. But, uh, luxury. 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 I had fear. to eat glass to get to school in the we morning. We had to go and live in a septic tank. <laughs> And we have rotting fish dumped all over us. Septic uh, 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 room. Uh, we went to live in a corridor. <laughs> there was 150 of us living in the middle of the road. And we had to lick the top, lick the road clean with our tongue. <laughs> Luxury. 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 We had to go and live in a lake. <laughs> A cardboard box. <laughs> a cardboard box. <laughs> Father would wake us up at quarter to ten. We used to wake up in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, for tuppence. <laughs> Top Father would clean the middle, death. clean the lake, clean the lake. <laughs> Don't work in my mill. For, for Come on, Father would crash us to death, <laughs> and then we get home, and our dad would slice us in two with a bread knife. <laughs> <laughs> if we were lucky. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Chris Quinlan, as I said. Well, well, a little, little, little. Get, let me get my lips together. <sighs> my name's Chris Quinlan. Welcome to Melbourne Muso's Face Joke Live. Ah, oh, what a cacophony. Uh -oh. Tonight's little episode is all about off the one. Off the one. Everything. Not one. So... Oi! There it is. Hey! So what it is, let me get into it. One of the things that happens with certain styles of music is that um, we don't have a heavy one, two, three, four, one, two, like... Ah. Sometimes it's a bit more subtle. So you might have one... Oh, slippy slidey. Reggae is great for that. Uh, we'll get into that um, and all sorts of different things. We have a clave, the reverse clave. And of all the little uh, Latin beats I have to teach, the little poppets, is um, the reverse clave. Oh, no one. No one. One, two, three. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Ooh. Do you see? Oh, there's the, uh, like that. And there you go. Now, let me uh, show you a couple of uh, tricks, tips, little ideas. Uh, and, um, you know, so you can get into it. All that. So what happens is we have a thing, like if you go Pink Panther, right? Dead-ant, 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 dead-ant. A lot of the kids about 10 years ago, there was a teacher at the local primary school teaching it like, Dead Ant. Oh, it's a Dead Ant song. Dead Ant. 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 Now that's a kind of a two feel. Boom. 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 Ah. 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 So one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. One. Eh, eh. There you go. Now what happens if we? Reverse it. So it's a reverse two fill. So it'll be one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, a one, two, three, four, a one. G. 
giant steps of one, two, <coughs> walking on the moon. Hey. There you go. You see? And then what you have, if you go to the rim click, one, two. Oh, if I do that. Uh, There you go, you see? And then all of a sudden you get a thing in reggae called a one drop. You could have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now to do that, you can take a basic rock beat. One, two, three, four, one, two, as crotchets. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Turn it backwards. One, two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. I often say reggae sometimes is a little bit like rock and roll backwards, you see? And that way, that way you can get into it, you know, sort of one, two, a three, four, a one, two, three, give it a bit of swing if you can. And then do the task, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, rim click, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, there you go. Now there's a couple of ins there, you see, and that's what goes on. And uh, what starts to happen is that, you know, you work it up, but it's really interesting because when Stuart Copeland hit the scene with the police back in the late 70s, sensational stuff, people go, how did you do that and all that, and it was an absolute sensation in the late 70s um, to be able to handle all that off the one business, you see, and that's what goes on. Now, when you're starting to get into sort of real funky stuff, that was happening in the 70s, and I always quote Herbie Hancock, who's coming out now. Uh, and um, some of the kinds of rhythms he was able to get is really interesting. And um, I don't want to name drop too much. I don't like, you know, it's a name dropping show when you're a teacher. Stuart Copeland, this person, that one. But I actually met Steve Smith. And we got on swimmingly. At the time, we were both big Austin Powers fans because I was... Uh, doing interviews and lots of different things for Beat and Mixdown back in um, the day, back in the uh, late 90s, or in mid to late 90s, into the 2000s. And when I got to meet him, lovely man, and, um, uh, and he talked about, he gave me a demo of one of his uh, projects that he was doing. I've got it in the other room. Just, and we just got on like a house on fire, you know. I, I gave him a shirt. I gave him an Austin Powers shirt. I'll put it up there. I've got it there somewhere. <laughs> Big night. I remember that one. Ooh. But what it is, without name dropping, um, he talked about one of the Herbie Hancock albums. And he said, listen to the bass drum. And he put it on. Uh, uh, and he said, listen to the bass drum. It's not on one. So what happens is it's like, you might have uh, semi-quavers. There's one. Slippy slide. Oh, and you could keep on going. Um, there's a. When I was sort of working it up for today, I thought. Geez, that's a little bit like Bonzo's Montreux, the old John Bonham thing, where you might have... And there it is, it's a... Uh, and then double, you know, one and two and three and four and on, uh, uh, like that. Oh! And it gives you that kind of train feel and all that when we're getting into the train feel. Oh, I remember Nick Cushion asking me for about the train feel sort of thing. Uh, the train feel. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. But if I put it backwards. Luxury. Luxury. I have to eat glass to get to school in the morning. Or just normal sort of uh, 
room. <laughs> we went to live in a corridor. <laughs> There's 150 of us stood in the middle of the road. Now, so you get that one, two, three, four, and then one, two, and that's off. You see? One. We have to lick the Nothing. top, lick the room Nothing. clean with that boom. <laughs> Ah, there you go. And that's what happens there, you see. Now, that one comes from uh, the Latin bass drum. Some people call it the samba bass drum, where you might have uh, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and one. And then you take out the end one. So it'll be one, two, and three, four, one, two, and three, four, uh, ooh, e, ah, and then put it in. So, uh, Luxury. 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 We have to go and live in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> in a cardboard box. In a cardboard box. So what goes on when you're having trouble playing off the beat? When you're playing off the beat, one of the things you can do is, I've just given you two things that you can do with your feet. Uh, you can take the two feel, a la... Uh, Pink Panther, the dead end so and you could go ah uh, da 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 and then you reverse it ah uh, ah uh, it ah uh, two three four one two three four one just start with your feet B R D D R D D R D A ah and ah I'm starting to get into Vinnie Vinnie Collier you the business there so. That's what happens. Now, let me take you through a few things with all this while we're going at it, because I'm going at it fairly quick. So I'm going to take a little bit of a stop and go through all the things again for you. Okay, so what happens is that you've got your reverse two feel. So instead of one, two, three, four, it's now one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Uh, uh. Room click on the three. Uh. And there's your Stuart Copeland reference there. There you go. Now, the next one is the Latin bass drum, which we all learn when we're doing Latin. So you get that kind of, we start out with one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Don't attend and love and you're a girl from him and he goes walking. I come from nowhere. Frank Zappa, 1982, <laughs> The Dangerous Kitchen. I did that two shows ago. Chris, come on. <laughs> uh, but what happens then is that uh, when you're doing that kind of thing, and then you take out the end one, as I said. So here's your Latin bass drum. One, two, and three. No singing, Chris. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Oh. 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 There's um, something lovingly called for me, uh, I call it the uh, reggae bass drum because of that, because it gives me the uh, one drop feeling you see. And that's what happens there. Now, one of the things about uh, when we're dealing with this kind of off, off the one, uh, the reverse clave, I'm going to take this out. One, two, three. Now, if I put the one in, fine, that gives you the uh, come in. But what happens if it's not there? the G, okay, or whatever. But if I do it backwards, ooh, ah, so one, and two, and Clean the leg, don't work in my milk. Good job, my mum will crash us to death. And then we get off, and our dad would slap ooh, us in two with a blender. <laughs> if we were lucky. <laughs> and there you go, you see. 
Now, when you try and make that a little bit more on the Funkster side uh, and pick it up a bit, what happens is that uh, you're, if you're going to sort of do that in reverse on the hi-hat, you'll get the natural, what I call a naturally opening hi-hat. So what happens if you're just doing this, reverse, one, uh, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three. Now this can shift. I could make that one, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, oh, one, and two, and three, and four, and one. Naturally open. That's starting to sound, sound New Orleans now, you see. So. Put it in, put in a normal funk beat. Uh. Bring it in. Thank you. There you go. So let me keep going on about it a little bit. Uh, back in the days of Frank Zappa and all this, is one of the things that I did um, when we were doing all the, um, especially the reggae-based um, stuff that Zappa was doing from about 78 onwards. Basically what happened was um, Zappa was going strong, bang, 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 bang. And then um, in the late 70s, after Terry Bozio left uh, and then within months was replaced and the, the new guy on the block was Vinnie Colliuda. Zappa just got the reggae bug and he just he used to say things like let's do the whole concert in reggae even the old classics all of a sudden mm, da -chick, uh, chick, uh, uh, chick, uh, uh. have I got it here? Cook mate 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 cook mate 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 ah cook mate Did one. It was a reggae in seven eight. <laughs> cook, mate, mate, my cook, mate, <laughs> cook, mate. Gina, Lolo, Bridget with Gina. And so what happens is uh, one of the little things you can do is a double paradiddle with the left hand start. Left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right. right, right, right. So. And do the, you know, the, what I call the reggae bass drum. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, 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 uh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. And then mix it up with right, left, left. Dance to that. Cooked, mate. 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 Cooked, mate. 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 Cooked, mate. 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 Cooked, mate. Mate. Yeah. I remember when I had nothing. Oh, luxury. I remember when it was 15 of us living in the corner. That's Mr. King. God bless him. He did the whole four show, the, the whole of four Yorkshire, Yorkshire men after two disconsolate blue baggers went off 
and tried to catch the end of their gig. We were a bit late, but we ended up at the pub and he started doing the four Yorkshire men. So what you've got here? <laughs> Mate, 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 cooked. There you go. So I better get a wriggle on. What was that, Chris? Not everything's reggae, it's just off the one. And how to get there. Deceptively tricky. It can be tricky stuff, especially for the rest of the band, because people are expecting boom on the one with the bass drum, but when it's not there, oi, 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 and you're in a bit of trouble. You know what happens. Oh, luxury. 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 It's not luxury. I have to eat glass to get to school in the we morning. Have to go live in a septic tank. <laughs> Put in a one every now and again for the rest of the band so you don't get slapped with a, a hot pane of glass. <laughs> all right, I'm, going, I'm heading off. Now, what happens is that you can do all sorts of different things with your... Uh, uh. I hope you enjoyed all that business. Oh, let's put them all on. Oh, my Lord. Luxury. I had to practice in a septic tank. My name is Quinlan. And tonight is all off the one. By one, Jared Anthony King. Go check him out. A wonderful mate. All of the one. Oh my lord. The four Yorkshire men. <laughs> oh, who'd have thought, who'd have thought we'd be sitting back here drinking shuttle to shuttle <laughs> uh, Yeah, I remember when I had nothing. I was happier then. I remember when it was 15 of us living in the living, living huddled up in the corner of a room for fear of falling. <laughs> but, uh, luxury. Uh, luxury. Luxury. I had yeah. to eat glass to get to school in the we morning. We had to go and live in a septic tank. <laughs> and we said rotting fish dumped all over us. <laughs> <laughs> septic uh, room. <laughs> we went to live in a corridor. <laughs> There was 150 of us living in the middle of the road. And we had to lick the top, lick the road clean with our tongue. Luxury. 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 We had to go and live in a lake. <laughs> a cardboard box. In a cardboard box. <laughs> Father would wake us up at quarter to the We were to wake up in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, for tuppence. <laughs> Top of clean the middle, the clean the lake, clean the lake. <laughs> Don't work in my mill. Come on, father would crash us to death, <laughs> and then we get home, and our dad would slice us in two with a bread knife. <laughs> <laughs>
if we were lucky. <laughs>